everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian t yeah, tonight, not today, along with... Here's a mighty... Uh, now, there's a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at the service. I almost did my own there one there. Uh, we could we could combine it to first lieutenant. You need more than one? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Doom 2016. I'd actually been wanting to stream this one for a while, but uh, yeah, we we were doing uh, we were doing chain franchises for the most part. But uh, yeah, with Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sands turning out to be rather disappointing and thus relegated to a side quest or even just its own little thing on Saturday evening. Uh, yeah, we decided to just scoot ahead towards this one, which will of course be followed by Doom Eternal. <clears throat> but yeah, we did a showcase of this game earlier. And uh, yeah, I have completed this game before on Ultraviolence, which is not the Ultraviolence of the old games. Ultraviolence in this case is just hard mode. And yeah, we had a little test run here. Hello, Rom! Wait, no. Rom! Hello, Rom! I'm Rom. <laughs> Hello, Rom. How are you doing? I'm not exactly doing great. I woke up, I'm ill, and it's fucking freezing. Oh. All right. Well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, chilling along can cheer you up a bit. Hopefully. Okay. Anyways, uh, get played on Ultra Violence, the gentleman's way of playing Doom. Yeah, which in this in this case again, it's it's not the highest difficulty as in the old old versions was. In this case, it is just hard modes. In <laughs> Here we actually have Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare as, well, the actual ultra-violence difficulties. And I'm definitely not going to be playing on this. <laughs> I love how like, I'm Too Young to Die is a baby skull with a helmet, with a World War I, World War II helmet on. Yeah, and then we have just Hurt Me Plenty as the normal difficulty with the full-size skull, the ultra-violence, a demon skull, Nightmare goes full Bahamut. Or Baphomet, and actually Baphomet Light, Baphomet Full, <laughs> I think. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we did a showcase of this game a while ago, and whilst I have completed this game on Ultra Violence, it is plenty tough actually on that difficulty, so we shall stick with Hurt Me Plenty. You want to know the irony? Hmm? A lot of people complained that this game was too easy, so they made Doom Eternal harder. I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh. Okay. So you walk eternally through the Shadow Realms, standing against evil where all others falter. May your thirst for retribution never quench, may the blood on your sword never dry, and may we never need you again. Korax Entry 717. Uh, they are rage. Brutal, without mercy, but you, you will be worse. Rid and tear until it is done. <laughs> but, uh, I need... Random thing, I actually have every game, every Doom game on Steam in my, in my account. The only one I'm missing is 2016. Okay, well, you're getting to see what happens then. <laughs> uh, yeah, right the hell into it, huh? Yeah! <laughs> One kick and kill. Okay, for so I kept sliding there for a moment. There we go. Well, it, the floor is kind of slippery now after what you did. Yeah, and not exactly too close. I but mean, yeah, you have no pants on. Yeah. Are the controls sticking a bit, or is that? Yeah. We have to contain this. Okay. I hope things aren't too loud. But yeah, here we have <laughs> the armor. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Gesundheit. Bless you. Uh, but yeah, this is the Praetor armor, aka something I really would like to cosplay, but I neither have the body nor the time to actually even attempt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, seriously, making that thing would take me fucking forever. Yeah. Eh, just, just steal Helion's motorbike uh, helmet. And I'm pretty sure this is very close to what was in the original map. We need to reset the main satellite. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Yeah, fuck you and fuck the plot. I'm here to kill demons. <laughs> Let's see. The Praetor suit. Additional relics were found in the tomb alongside the Doom Marine. Some incantation tablets and an ancient combat suit which was given a name. The Praetor suit. When found, it was encased in an inscribed stone tomb. The suit was extracted from the rock, cleaned and subjected to numerous tolerance tests, and, tests yeah, and found to be almost impervious to any damage. It appeared to have some mechanical function as well, small receptors on the gloves and chest plate that attract argent plasma and dissipate it through capillary uh, tubes in the substructure. <clears throat> Markings on the armor were also consistent with images of a man, or humanoid, seen in several of the tablets and stones found on other expeditions. The same markings were also noted on the helix stone. Despite it being clear that the suit can be activated in some way, no method has been found to, uh, to do it. It appears to be missing a component, likely the Doomarine himself. Uh, yeah, we'll be finding a lot of lore bits as we go. And let's see, we're actually... Oh, mission... Yeah, um, auto map, uh, actually, oh, arsenal, yeah, getting everything on this. Praetor point suit points for upgrading your suits. Here, the, uh, let me click that. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, our starting pistol, the UAC EMG sidearm. Every UAC employee is provided a standard UAC EMG, energy metal gel sidearm, which are from promotion to tier two and above. This sidearm is reliable and effective at short range. A gravity gear dynamo in the stock charges a capacitor whenever the operator moves. When the, op when the weapon is fired, the capacitor compresses up to 4 megawatts of argent energy into a hardened plasma gel and launches the slug at high velocity. The gel slug has the same impact properties of conventional ammunition, making the weapon act and feel like a standard ballistic firearm. The weapon is constructed of thermally diffusive, you know, diffusive metal alloys, which allow it to discharge rapidly and repeatedly without overheating or comp compromising the accuracy. The capacitor in the EMG can also be upgraded to concentrate the energy into one large pulse for more stopping power. AKA, we yep can charge up a shot. I find pull the trigger. I want to see pick something up. Something actually ejects from the gun. Yep. Which doesn't actually make that much sense with the description that it gave, <laughs> but oh well. Yeah. Might be an oversight. Actually, that was the glory kill tutorial. <laughs> he just managed to kill that off. Yeah, dealing damage to demons will cause them to stagger, which is indicated like that. And then we can do this. And for this, I've turned on the graphic violence <laughs> warning on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me that. And now we have a Doom player's best friend, the shotgun. Yep. It's not Doom without a shotgun. The USC shotgun disperses a spread of high-velocity buckshot for maximum impact against the enemy. Ideally suited for the operative who requires a speedy response for deadly close encounters, the wide coverage of this weapon loses impact at long range. The weapon is forced from a high quality titanium steel alloy to ensure maximum reliability, repeat rate, and yield strength. And we have the possessed here. The possessed are created in a, in a, in a Lazarus wave event, a phenomenon first discovered by Dr. Olivia Pierce during her Lazarus project. 
While most victims exposed to argent biowaves will expire without further effect, some subjects will absorb traces of argent energy and enter a state of posthumorous vigor, aka be revived. Despite necrosis of the internal organs, with the exception of the brain, the victim continues to animate and exhibit a low order of sentience for weeks or even months after clinical death. Posthumorous brain activity in the possessed is limited to instinctual behavior. The possessed are known to be territorial when confronted by the living. When isolated, they will often enter a dormant state for extended periods of time. They will stand unmoving for days or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or it's threatened by a predator. An interesting behavior has been seen, is, yeah, seen when the possessed are held in small groups. They will drag human corpses to a central location within their holding pens and then perform a silent ritual around the pile of bodies. The resulting ceremonial site appears to be the initial stages of a gore nest. These actions must be driven by a telepathic communication with higher ranking demons, as there is no local brain activity that could manage such choices. The possessed will perform these tasks even when limbs are removed or Pavlovian pain responders are implanted in their cortex, further cementing the theory that they are unwilling slaves performing an integral part of the life cycle of the demons. The possessed create the birthing ground for new demons and upon expiration they themselves are used as fertilizer for the gore nest. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> I love that they just put in so much lore. They didn't need to, really. And, well... Let's check that out after we're done here. Okay, first, slaughter everyone, then I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what I was gonna say about the lore thing. Oh, dear. You know, I've been doing a nice stream for... I'm very important for this. I have James Shockman, the big drink. In a pint? Okay. Uh, want me to finish this thing off or... Is there someone else? Okay, I thought I heard something. Uh, you want to start? <laughs> Shall I just uh, kill this thing and then you can talk? Okay, um... I feel like the Doom... 2016 Doom Eternal logs are... Like the <laughs> anti-data whatever the fuck from Final Fantasy 13 because 13 told its plot so confusingly bad that it effectively just, you had to literally look into what amounted to the game's atlas just to figure out where you were, why you were there, and how you even got there. Yeah, like, it's all neat, and, but it's none of it is actually needed to actually get a grip of the story, because a lot of people yeah. are just going to go rip and tear, fuck everything, and hello, the Glacier Boy, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the difference, is that the one, is that the Doom Eternal, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal are, okay, this is neat little lore, but you don't really need it for, you know, enjoying the game. Yeah, I'm just having to have the lore for, it kind of... I feel like it actually adds to it. Yeah, but that's that. I feel like that's what lore should do. It should add to it, not be a required reading material. Yeah. <laughs> also, these yeah. glory kills will differ depending on what side and what angle we come in from. Oh dear. What? But what I can say to now, hello Glacier Boy and welcome! Glad to see you still the same optimist as me for this game. Oh, wait, optimist. Um, excitement probably would be a better word. Okay. Yeah, plenty of pickups for us. Ammo, health, the green little bits are armor shards. I'll just grab these. We have limited ammo at the moment, but we can upgrade that later. And also, uh, let's have a look at these things we've discovered now. Gore nests. Uh, wait. Oh, what the? You saw uh, that too? Yeah, uh, I. What happened? <laughs> I think Glacier Boy set off the stream, uh, the element stream elements thing. Uh, let me just turn that thing off, or the auto moderator of it, because it removed his texts over here. Uh, yeah, the, the, um... the stream is a little thingy, and apparently. It's a bit of a uh, more work than the other. Yeah, the main thing I swapped to that it would allow certain links, but apparently it also has some annoyances to deal with. 
but at, at worst, it should have only silenced him for a bit. Uh, anyways, we can continue reading here. Gore nests. Studies of demons upon entering this dimension have shown that their conduct is not purely vindictive. There is a method behind their actions. When a demon captures their prey, the fresh kill is taken to a temporary ceremonial site where arcane rituals are performed on the pile of blood and gore. When enough corpses have been gathered, the ceremonial site becomes a gore nest. These sites, imbued with hell energy from the rituals, act as umbilical cords to hell. Extreme caution must be taken when approaching a gore nest. Attacking the nest, or indeed any demons within close proximity to the nest, <coughs> to the nest will act as an alarm and siphon more demons from hell. So, yeah, that explains why when we go after them, they start spawning in more. Mm. Yeah, and... Oh, yeah, it seems to be working again. Yeah, it's only a 30-second mute, I believe. I don't know why it removes the previous post, though. So, yeah, sorry about that, Glacier Boy. It's just a new bot being picky. <clears throat> or rather, not picky enough with his uh, actions. Let's see. Imp. These ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell and are often used in the front line in a concentrated attack uh, in either dimension. They revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the hunger takes them. Let's see. Code one of one. Okay, we have one more that we can... One more thing we can learn about the, the imps. Nice that they have a counter up there. Uh, tutorial. That's only the glory, the glory kill one. Okay. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. He would ruin everything. Well, all the more reason to get out. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now. No shit. <laughs> Long the leisure boy! Woo! My favorite cutscene! Yeah, betterment of mankind as he looks to the corpse. Someone tried to claw their way out of here. Okay, here we go. Oop, Dashe. Uh, just our objectives. You can also press. Oop, left Alt. Let's see. Challenges unavailable, oh, yeah, find the resource up. Yep. Okay, that just brings that up and away. Okay. Easy enough. Now, I know there's a lot of secrets in this game, but I, I'll try to find some. Oop, but not. I won't be going around looking for each and every one of them. <clears throat> Oop, but. Why did it. Okay. Game got deselected, and somehow my mouse ended up on the other screen. <clears throat> A brief history. Despite the discovery of liquid water on Mars in the early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration for the next century. With the discovery of the Argent Fracture, a transdimensional stream of unrefined, uh, unrefined uh, Argent Plasma, in 2095, settling and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet the vast energy demands on Earth. However, hmm? You doing okay? Sorry. No, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. It's just I was, I was singing that song that they play, that they used to play for like get, for getting snacks at the cinema, and then something, <laughs> and then my, my watch fell on, on the keyboard. <laughs> okay, let's all go to the <laughs> lobby. That thing is it. Uh, let's oh, see, God. Glacier Boy. Don't worry, we'll point, we'll point out if you miss them. Okay. Uh, let's see. However, the need for atmospheric conversion and terraforming of the Red Planet was a task that seemed insurmountable to all but one corporation, the UAC. Through a diligent dedication to technological advancement and forward thinking, an outpost was established in MTC 2096 to extract Argent Plasma from the fracture. When this plasma is subjected to the UAC's ferm fermionic transference pattern, Argent energy is produced. This remarkable venture eventually bore fruit, as Argent Energy became the primary power source for all of Earth. 
New visitors to the UAC facility may take for granted the rich atmosphere while on the surface, but it should be remembered that just a few short decades ago, Mars was an inhospitable desert that could support no life. Unauthorized exploration into the exclusion zones outside the base is not allowed under any circumstances. Highly volatile experiments and artifacts are frequently researched a safe distance away from the base, and your safety in these areas cannot be guaranteed. So, yeah. That's why we can go outside. Uh, hmm? Did you see that? Yeah, this. No, no, no. Someone just jumped off a clip in front of you. Oh, that's from uh, that? Oh, that's a demon. Yeah. Oh. Because we are in our first little arena here. Holy. Near you. Yep, you enemy type. Get back here, you. New enemy type. Which one? Oh, right. It's the demonic marine. Yep. No, you don't. Hey, you do, but not for long. Yep. I feel like if shotguns range would make sense oh. for a game like this, like you know how shotguns tend to be uh, incredibly short range. Yep. I feel like that sort of range makes more sense in a game that encourages you to get up close and personal. Like, say, Doom? Yeah. Okay, I'm Although getting low Doom, on ammo. Although, to be frank, Doom 3 shotgun had the worst spread in history. Oop, low health. Yeah. That. Yep, we gain health you from wanna... Glory Kill Suit. Yeah. You wanna know what's the dumbest part? Enemies with shotguns do more damage than you do with a shotgun. The game's coded so that you do so that your shotgun deals more damage. Yeah. You wanna know how that how any of that works? Just balancing BS. I hear you? No. Okay, the game is balanced so that your shotgun has a higher spellet spread than say a uh, possessed soldier's shotgun in Doom 3. Okay, yeah, that's just dumb. And I probably should have moved more around this area. Yeah. Okay. Bit more but yeah, armor. so even if your shotgun does more damage, their shotgun spread is less. So every... So there's a chance that practically every pellet hits you, and you're fucked. Meanwhile, you try to shoot someone at beyond three feet, and it turns... And the pellets turn into cotton candy. Yeah. Okay. We'll take that. Poor bastard. Yep. Is that a secret boy? Yep. This little Look. guy. Yep. These are collectibles. <laughs> and I really, really want one of those. <laughs> you you can't buy them. I know. Yeah, I, I don't I, have money. Yeah, there, there are mini Slayer models out now, especially with that new mobile game, which is pretty decent, I'd say. It's good. I enjoy for a like, bit of time with it. You know, you got nothing better to do, so you might as well enjoy it. Okay. Frag grenade. Left control or middle mouse to use an equipment item when you have it available. Found on a recharge timer, so no limits it, and must complete. Uh, must complete before they can be used again. The attack can be improved by upgrading the Praetor suits. Uh, secrets, explore the environment to find secret areas. They contain useful items. And yeah, collectibles. There are two UAC Marine Guy collectibles in every map. Each one you find will unlock a model that can be viewed visiting the collectibles menu. See if you can find them all. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, extra little things. Nothing required. Okay, uh, Glacier Boy. Although a shotgun has more range than expected, 45 meters for buckshot and 100 meters for a slug. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's in reality. In video game land, the shotgun is for point blank only. Yeah, it's like you're firing charcoal. It disintegrates after two meters. 
Uh, yeah, there are right. games that have like the shotgun have an actually realistic range, but wait, yeah. Hold on, uh, you made me realize there is a game that does shotgun realistic. Then, no, oh, which? Yeah. Um, to I the know... three, they, they gave dwarves a shotgun and it has that range. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there's also the battlefield games, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, there's there's some okay. games that it has it, like, justified, or it's just, like, it's game balancing issues, but it's still really weird. And I just realized the dumb little thing that I had forgot to fix there. Let me just get behind the desk instead of in front of it. I didn't know you were in front of the desk. Let me unselect that. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, DC Face gave oh, me issue. Uh, right, was it actually the same Tuesday? Probably. Nope. And again, it seems I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb modes. Okay. <laughs> less so for less so for well, getting annoyed with messages or such, but more for the privacy of my friends and such. <clears throat> but yeah, let's see. The possessed soldier. While Lazarus wave exposure does effectively wipe any vestige of human behavior from most of its most of its victims, some subjects continue to display tactical cognizance posthum posthumously. Uh, as with possessed engineers, this cannot this does not appear to be random. If an, if an individual has training in combat as part of the USC military, the Lazarus wave event will transform them into more than mere slaves. This anomaly further supports the theory that there is some form of genetic coding embedded within the Lazarus wave particles, which governs the outcome of Lazarus wave exposure on a per case basis. Yep. And frag grenades. The design of oh, this yeah, weapon is. Go ahead. Sorry, I was going to say that I posted a picture on the, uh, well, pictures thing. That is another. That is another. Uh, that is a Doomslayer figure from. Uh, Figma, and I also want that, but I'm broke. Let me take a peek. <laughs> uh, here we go. Game is not being shown on top, so I can actually see this. And it look, that looks pretty cool, yeah. yeah that I can buy either because bit. my uh, unemployment benefits are a lot lower than I actually thought they were. <laughs> There's a lot uh, of things I want, like Samus Heron. I did you know that there's a Alucard from Helsing Figma? I didn't know, but I probably should have expected that. And speaking of Samus Figma, guess what I'm looking at right now? Yeah, I Samus? have one. Uh, yeah, the ones you have. <laughs> yeah, the one missed by and the one correct by. So that was a bit of an yeah. expensive mistake. Anyways. Uh, the design of this weapon is conventional in nature, though it has been refined to perform at the limit of its ballistic capa yeah, capabilities. The UAC fragmentation grenade uses a Comp D explosive package encased in a steel alloy shell and has an effective fatality radius of about 5 meters. Improvements of the antiquated M67 uh, grenade include a more reliable chemical fuse mechanism. In yeah. Uh, that's, that's like a modern day grenade. Did yep. they use did they use that round baseball grenade for like until now in this game? Uh, well, if it works, don't fix it. I, mean, I don't remember true. there being grenades in other uh, Doom games, but then again, uh, I've never played had, many of them. Uh, Doom Three had grenades. Okay. Uh, oh, from some saying from Laser Boy. Lazarus wave is just demonic, demonic possession, right? I forgot. Something like uh, that. Partially, since it does kill a bunch of people as well, but it do, uh, some get turned into the possessed, but not all. So I guess it's selective um, mass possession. Let's see. Uh, fuse mechanism, interior machining of the casing to provide more effective projectile dispersion and a trigger switch safety clip to prevent unwanted activation. The new Comp D explosive also ensures the radial pressure wave has no drop spots, ensuring full damage potential within the fatality zone. Okay. Let's try and get some use out of this. 
Okay, that has a good blast range. Oh, and it even stuns them. Oh, yeah. Whack them. Whack them. Smack them. Tear them. Grip and tear. Tear? Where? Okay, actually on the possessed, I probably don't even have to waste any shotgun shells since, well, I can just double tap them like this. Let's see. I think this is side stuff. But I also tend to do watch lore videos about them again. Well, people have, I feel thought some people have been trying to theorize a few things going on. There we go. Um, ah, here. Yep, and we now have area scanning with the auto map. And we also have this here. Just pull out of the USB stick. Okay, now we have a Praetor point, which we can use to upgrade something. And let's see. Uh, area scanning technology. Let's see. Item awareness. The auto map reveals exploration items in a wider radius around your position. Secret sense. Okay, we probably need one more for that. The compass will pulse when near secret areas. Uh, equipment. That needs two. Environmental resistance. Let's see. Decrease explosive barrel and environment damage taken. Let's go with this one for now. And then we can get that one next. Uh, let me out of this. Okay, I, w I was pressing escape, but for some reason it wanted me to just press the text. Oh. Wait, did it just teleport through one? Oh, sure. Um, will this count as mangling someone? Probably a bit more than just wrangling. Mangling, not wrangling. <laughs> we we wrangle, then we mangle. Then we tangle. Wait, what? Phrasing. Yeah, I don't know what I said, but it's not right there. Uh, you broke the legs, then the face, then the spine. Yeah. The the Doom Marine uh, doubles as a chiropractor, and is probably about as healthy as one. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Combat support drone, weapon modifications. We can go with either a charged burst, okay, or an explosive shot. Let's go with that. Yep. Okay, field drones will supply you with weapon mods that can be activated using the weapon mod button. Choose which mod you want, and it will attach to your weapon. Use weapon upgrade points to improve the capabilities. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I think this one is a bit more useful at the moment. And yeah, it actually changes how it makes the thing look. Let's see. This shotgun ammunition incorporates a glycerin fuse that detonates an octan, you know, octan nitro you know, cubane gel upon you know, impact. Embedded shot is dispersed at the point of impact, creating a wide area of effect, highly effective against multiple targets or when detonated at you know, the rear of enemies in the defilades. That's a word I'm not familiar with. Um, hmm. uh, Octop. Uh, God, no, can you translate? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a it's chemical a formula. Grenade. Yeah. Uh, Wait, are you telling me the shotgun is loaded with tiny grenades? Yep. That actually sounds terrifying. I keep, I keep habitually pressing the reload button, but you don't need to reload in this game. Wait, really? Yep. I think all the time I watch YouTube play, I don't think I even noticed that. I think someone spawned. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy <laughs> in the rear of enemies. Okay.
Oop. Yep, we need more chiropractic. Oh. <laughs> okay, just completely banished him. Oh. Oh. Nope, miss. And yeah, that little circle indicates how long we have to wait for it to recharge. So we can't just spam explosive shots. Yep. There we go. I imagine Doom, Doom Slayer's chiropractic, chiropractic doesn't really get any return investment. But no. Any return customers, but <laughs> do make a good job of making this fine crack. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want any return customers. <laughs> oh, good God! Well, now I'm stuck with those mental images. Hello, boys. If anybody knows how to, if anybody knows how to, oh, I want Doom Slayer's chiropractic adjustment. <laughs> Right. I'm pretty sure that would just kill you. Yeah, it would. Uh, okay, let's see from Glacier Boy. The rapid... This? Rapid disc movement, movement in the neck, I see. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, what the heck did that came from? <laughs> First. What do you mean with disc in this case? Like one of your neck discs, neck uh, bones. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah, that is quite deadly. Oh, hello. Oh, you have earned a weapon upgrade points. Okay, let's see. Speedy recovery, bigger boom, instant load, removes the loading time for an explosive shot. And once all have been purchased, we can up and we can buy a bigger one. Getting a direct oh. hit with an explosive shot will spawn cluster bombs that deal an additional. Okay, let's just go with this one so we just can just immediately throw it out. Uh. Grenade him. Just a um, little neck massage. <laughs> Good God. Oh, now I'm stuck with that mental image. Someone entered the Helium's uh, chiropractic shop and I was, all right, uh, where do you learn chiropractic practice from? Doom guy. Actually, I'm just reminded of uh, Caleb City's kid. Hang on a second, I'll post it. Wait, what? <laughs> Is uh, a dude who. Okay, hang on. Oop, someone blew themselves I up. I on the radio. There you go. Have the massage places to beat you on your first run. Oop. Oop. Oop, and I. <laughs> okay. You grenaded yourself. No, I, I grenaded the Ooh. imp, but he was too. <laughs> He was too close to the explosive barrel, and so was I. I mean, it... I'm sure that the first time I see someone die in Doom. Nah, you, there's a lot of deaths in Doom. Yeah, the, the deaths don't get in, don't come into the uh, compilations. Oh dear gods! It could be worse. You could have every vending machine run on an RNG system. I still need to make that compilation. Oh god. Uh, I still love how out of all of the vending machines in Tokyo. binary domain, only like two gave you something that you needed and was useful. Yeah. And the other times it gave me ammo when I was already full. Or absolutely nothing. Uh, all right, uh, I'm gonna check that out, uh, Glacier Boy. Uh. Oh, what the hell? the hell did you come from? Oh! 
Uh, what's going on with the general chat, then? Oh, he showed me a gif uh, of what well, basically you just did. <laughs> a gif of someone giving a bit of a... the cracking ne neck nerve massage thing. Good. You fell off the same spot. <laughs> oh, gods. It's... Hello? There we go. Yep, you can even do glory kills from above. Yeah, that's back. So, this way. Wouldn't that be glory death from above? Hmm? Oh wait, no, that'd be glorious death from above. There we go. Two and a half. Go. That's holy. Yep. Okay, that got him. Let's see. Some armor that we can use. Some health that I don't really need. Let's see. Up this way. Anything of interest that I missed? Like we know there's only two of the figurines in each map. But there I can still be other stuff hidden. Figurine on the roof of this one. Oh, you want to read the uh, Shatter uh, Hill? Uh, let's see. Glacier Boy, I don't think the dude getting his hat squished feels very glorious, Drakir. Yeah. <laughs> Though he did fix his headache. A uh, bit. Oh, yeah, I tried to make the pun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> let's check in some more stuff. Field drone. Often, often referred to as droppers, these drones were developed by the UAC to autonomously receive and deliver ordered parts to engineers, off to the employees and soldiers. Basically, Amazon drones that actually work. And then we have <laughs> the Elite Guards. The Elite Guard is a company of security personnel charged with protecting the Lazarus Project research and maintaining order throughout the Argent facility. The distinct red uniforms help distill a calming influence among UAC uh, employees. Bullshit. And they are known <laughs> to be level-headed, disciplined, but fair, uh, and fair but firm. Their suits contain cybernetic augmentations, which give the elite guards an advantage should they need to quell any disturbances. The augmentations allow them to be faster, stronger, or more resilient to injury. Yeah, red tends to be a bit of a more angry color, so calming my ass. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, I love how the image is like they're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> and Glacier Boy can't have a headache if you don't have a head. That's true. Mod that true. Modern problems, modern solutions. Uh, and and then, you, <laughs> then you get a headless with a headache. How you're going to fix that? Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. Um, I think you might want to reset your timer. Okay, and level ends. I think the hologram needs glasses. Okay, we missed a secret, it seems. We found the elite guard and the field drone, so let's continue. Combat and challenge data opens up later, I believe. Okay. Uh, resource operation. Broken free from your prison, pitted against evil, the cycle begins anew. To discover the cause of the demonic invasion, first locate and align the communication satellite in the resource operation as facility. <laughs> and Glacier Boy with another, well, that's a no-brainer, alien. Oh, <laughs> uh, I feel like your puns will work well in this game, both of you. Hello. Actually, all free. The sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, 
It appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Yep, now we have mission challenges. Hmm. <laughs> are activated when a mission begins, and completing them will reward you with weapon upgrade points. You can view the requirements and track progress in the mission tab of the dossier. So, yeah. Let's see. Kill two of the possessed with one trigger pull from the shotgun. Variety is the spice of death. <laughs> Perform five different glory kills on the possessed. And find three secrets. There's a bunch of secrets here, as you can see. And there are three elite guard to find. And a new one, an argent cell. Okay. Bit low on ammo. Nope. Vega. Running the Argent facility takes a lot of power. Not just electrical and mechanical power, but computational power. With so many interdependent systems feeding off of a single power source, the UAC decided it would need to create a central mainframe computer to manage not only the flow of Argent energy, but the day-to-day -day operations of a facility with over 60,000 employees. The megacomputer, the brainchild of Samuel Hayden, head of the UAC, would exceed the computational ability of any system before it, and more importantly, would be recognized as the first truly autonomous artificial intelligence agency. Uh, agency entity. Bleh. They named it Vega. <laughs> uh, let's see. You have upgraded up uh, <laughs> optional objectives, obtained even. Uh, I don't have any points at the moment. All entrances not operational. Hello. That's a one. Oh, you're gonna get possessed, but you'll do. That's the same. That's a new. Now uh, there should be more than plenty of uh, possessed to uh, get five different ones. Let's see. Oh, I look so forward to when they do the next Doom game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Low well, power. Th th this is what little we know. So there's apparently going to be a prequel. They compare these two games we have now as Doom Slippy and Sports Car. Or racing car. However, since it's pretty cool, before it's getting power, it's gonna be more like a monster truck. Okay. Less speedy, but more. crushing power. <laughs> Catch, bitch. Let's see. Ooh. He was preparing to throw a fireball, and instead I fed him an explosive shot. A different kind of fireball. I believe in honesty, especially now, in what will be your final moments in this world. All the moons, the human sacrifices, the hellfish, the demons, it's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us. Starting now. Well, I guess it's easy to see who messed with this thing. Let's see. Anything we can use here? Wait, 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 wait. I'll throw some on this. Yeah, hard hat. I don't think we'll have use of that. I believe in you sure? Moments, especially now. <laughs> in what will be your final moments in this world. Okay. Map data. Wait, wasn't there an elite card that you will post? Yeah, it's just a normal corpse. I... Resource operations. The resource operations center, referred to as ResOps, was... Uh, <clears throat> was one of the first facilities constructed at the Mars base after the discovery of the Argent Fracture, and encompasses several key areas needed to run the facility, including plasma extraction and processing, isotope stabilization, heavy metal and ore mining, artifice, <coughs> artifice, artifact analysis, communications, networking, and off-world transportation. 
New UAC's employees posted to the Mars facility are expected to fulfill a tour of duty in res ops before moving on to their specialized career crap brackets. Security clearance level 1 allows access to all areas of res ops, excluding the Vega networking hubs and some satellite control centers. For access to these locations, new advocates must submit a Delta Q Delta form to the departmental, uh, departmental enforcer. Yeah, of course, we're starting with the bullshit forms. Especially I think we have a an all access form in the form of this. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of possessed around. Actually, yeah, only one. Let's see, yeah, she's just going to be ranting the whole time. I'll take that. I think you did break the machine. Uh, let's see, from this point, I got to head off for now. Look forward to seeing the VOD and seeing you all the next time. Uh, okay, see you, see you next time, Glacier. Yeah, see you next time, Glacier. Thank you for joining the uh, what you uh, could at least. There we go. And that was the one I was trying to lure out every time I was jumping towards a target. Oof. Oh dear god. But yeah, we, we will, there will be a vault and we will of course upload this to YouTube. So we have been behind on that for a bit because, well, I've not been in the best of mood lately. Oh dear. Let's see, I'm just walking back now. But yeah, that's a bit of a cycle. Whenever... <laughs> Whenever it's becoming time to go to the dentist again, I just get down for a good while and easily annoyed. Let's see. I can understand that for... Yeah, especially when you told me what happened to the dentist last time. Let's see. Possessed Engineer. Oop. During a Lazarus event... Uh... Lazarus wave event, victims undergo drastic changes to their physiology, uh, physiology uh, to their physiology, yeah, physiology, both eternal, uh, internal and externally. Um, <clears throat> aside from fundamentally changing the composition of their internal organs, the high intensity plasma wave is strong enough to fuse metal to skin. In many cases, personal items such as watches and jewelry can burn through the skin and become permanently embedded in the victim. Perhaps the most unfortunate victims of this fusing event are any subjects that happen to be working with uh, acetyl, uh, acetylene uh, tanks or welding equipment. As this equipment is often attached to the body to allow for mobile work in low gravity environments, the Lazarus wave will create a demonized human with a highly combustible explosive device embedded in its skin. All of, uh, as with all possessed creatures, they are mindless and driven through some uh, form of telepathic communication from an unknown demon overseer. Additional care must be taken when confronting a possessed engineer. If the fuel tank is punctured and it doesn't explode, the weakened container can turn the possessed engineer into an explosive projectile. This is a danger to any being nearby, both human and demon. Oh, so that's not a hard cap fat stuck on his chest. Nope. <laughs> That's a welding tank. Or welding fuel tank. Demand presence at unsafe levels. Hello? Timing is everything. You six <laughs> Okay. Hope that one's dead already. I'm going to leave the possessed alone for now. I got myself with that. Ow. That. Uh, was that enough? No, we did not get the upgrade or the, the challenge. There we go. Let's see, 
the kill that you get also depends on what limb you're, aim you're pointing at. Oh, the gods stand for God home. Much the very. Okay, kind of, kind of wasted my chance to have I accidentally headshotting the second last one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's something above us. And there is an elite guard nearby. This is a very good auto, uh, 3D map, I must say. Blue areas are where we have been ourselves. Um, Gray is where doesn't we haven't seem... been. Yeah. And all the marks, well, you can see where they are. Orange means that we've picked them up. That is where we need to be, I believe. And... I remember the arena... I do remember there being a fucking blah blah blah. Let's see. To new advocates. Yeah, some, yeah somewhere hmm? around the ceiling there, there's uh, there's a secret. Okay. Uh, and in that vision, they saw the future bold and powerful. And the many worked as one to bring the new order. What better words to inspire you uh, as you set uh, <clears throat> set about initiating yourself into the UAC? Those who came before you and those who, you know, <clears throat> and those you serve with all up, uh, with all upgrades, uh, uh, <clears throat> those who came before you and those you serve with all uh, up, you serve oh serve with. Yeah, I'm reading the flow wrong. Uh, all operate uh, with the same goal in mind: the development of a new mouse, the development of a new dawn for mankind. It is by this principle of teamwork that we will elevate ourselves to the next plane of existence. If you have any you know, any new suggestions to improve the work environment while working your tenure in RASOPS, please submit suggestion form WAD -E E1M4 to your uh, command controller. However, it is imperative that you learn to accept the things you can't change and follow the path that has been laid out for you. Your service in RESOPS is a test of your devotion to the cause. Should you be asked to submit yourself to an interrogation program or experimental treatment, you are expected to comply without question. If a fellow advocate asks you to engage in a dedication ceremony, say yes. If you see an advocate doubting their role at the UAC, bring it to the attention of an enforcer so that they might receive the help they need. Don't be selfish, tier 2 is for everyone. Yeah, totally doesn't sound like a cult, huh? Yeah, what the heck? Also, I get the feeling this is a reference because the in the original Doom, uh, E1 and then M uh, num E number, then M uh, number was used to uh, name the maps. So the very first map of the game is called E1 M1. And I get the feeling yeah. that E1 M4 is some sort of uh, <laughs> is uh, uh, some sort of uh, Reference. Yeah, it's it's a reference to something, probably like uh, a fourth map on the first ops. episode of Doom. <clears throat> Let's see. E1 and, being episode one. Yeah. M1 being map one. So I think I yeah. get the feeling M4 was like a. Uh, what is it, human resources or something? Hang on, let me see. Also, oh, hello. <laughs> It was command control. And each year we harvest only the best of the best. The original dude. Are you ready to move on? To take on new challenges? To become more than you ever dreamed you could be? Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's soul harvest. Um. Okay, I'll rather harvest with this. Now we can really rip and tear. Yay! The chainsaw is a specialized melee weapon that is accessed by pressing G. Using the chainsaw requires fuel, but we get a demon, the more you need. Cutting apart a demon with the chainsaw will always drop a surplus of ammunition. Yeah. <laughs> and you were going to say? Hello, what to say? Be right back, just gonna refill my drink. <laughs> Okay, then we'll uh, we'll feed this thing with plenty of blood to drink. The UAC. The world is counting. Let's see. How committed are you 
Oh, there's something there. Uh, yeah, one thing that with the map is that it doesn't show <coughs> secrets, I believe. So we will have to go hunting around for those ourselves still. Or at least until we get I two uh, bits. There is an upgrade that allows you to do that. Yeah, the uh, secrets, uh, the secret finder, uh, somewhere around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, secret sense. We need two more USB sticks for that, though. But now. Hello, boys. Wait to find someone. There we go. That's an engineer. Here, though, I did get a weapon point apparently from something. And that, and I can hear with my headphones the glorious sound of the chiropractic. Good, low health. <laughs> yeah, w when we do glory kills, we gain extra health from. They, they will drop health. The chainsaw is for ammo. Let's see. What one did I... Two for... Okay, I did get two with one grenade there. Or one shot. Huh. Uh, let's see. Anything around here to grab? Some health. And there is something there. Some fuel. And... Nope. Elevator. Yep, thank you. Yep, yep. Okay, that was... I've, I'm too used to control being crouch. But in this case, <laughs> it's grenade. <laughs> Take those. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Apparently, I was on the uh, conveyor belt. Ow. Oh. Um, how did that feel? Uh, pretty crushing. We have some of these. Uh, let's see. Now these are more expensive. Anything we can upgrade here? Yeah, uh, let's save up for the moment. Fix that for you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I think I would actually kill that one. <laughs> okay, just caused his torso to stop existing. Okay. Ow. We need a yellow key card. It's crunchy. It's crunchy. Process yellow security clearance. Yep. Okay, why does my mouse keep moving to OBS? At least it's at least it pauses the game. Let's see. Security station activation required. Which, of course, is blocked off. Hello. So that is why we need to go sneaking around here. And not get crushed by cargo this time. Let's swap to this thing for a second. Okay. That it was a bit your fault. Like, you should know to look uh, left, right, and left again before yeah. crossing the road. There. Anything up here? There we go. I'll take that. Uh, the fuel that we have is shown by the red bars underneath our weapon, so we have three fuel at the moment. Yellow security 
Let's see. One second. I think I'm going to have to leave. You guys have fun. Okay. See you next time. Oh. See you next time, Roman. Thank you for joining. As always. Cheap oh. shots. For that, you're getting your face punched in. Okay. Go. Yes. Clear out the father. Okay. That was all of them. Okay, time to poke the hornet's nest. Actually, there we go. Give me that ammo. Oops, I think I just dodged something, but that was a direct hit. myself with that you, 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 you ran into him there we go I think you just yeah. gave what we, we call um, a rock hurdy crook uh, I think that we've talked to as a straight right hook yeah with a grenade uh, let's see, anything nearby to grab? We are close to one of those. Wait, Where are you? You bounced him with a grenade. Yeah, I, I heard it first hit him with the grenade and then the fist. Oh. <laughs> let's see. Wait, wait why is this punch a grenade? Oh, wait, yeah. Already on the other side here. I, I suddenly started to think of a certain blonde from Hero Academia. Okay, we need to get in there to get to that elite. Uh, Alright, his name was Taku. Okay, uh, up we go. So, how you been? Never mind. Guess he didn't want to chat. Rude ghost. It's not a ghost, it's a hologram. Rude hologram. And that's what where's what left of him. Let's see, now we can get the other one. First shot, let's charge it up. Okay. An ardent charge compression reloader allows the operator to automatically fire up to three rounds in rapid succession. With the enemy at close range, this action is devastating, taking down all but the most resilient of adversaries. The compression reloader requires several seconds to recompress after use. Okay. Fully modded. If you have two mods available for a weapon, you can quickly swap between them by pressing R. Yep. Oh. It does take a moment, but yeah. No. We'll take that. We'll take that, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, open up. Just checking everyone's arms. <laughs> Just bond him down. 
Only one! Okay, now we're back here. But now we have access. Access granted. Okay. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation, located in the vast Hellas Plain impact basin. This high-tech mining and research facility is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than just a commitment to the UAC. It's a commitment to the future of mankind. Thank you for your service. Oh. Give me. A heavy assault rifle. Okay. Ooh. Although recently superseded by the plasma rifle as the UAC standard is a weapon, the heavy assault rifle is still in widespread use due to its dependable mechanical firing mechanism, high accuracy at long range, and an abundant supply of ammunition. The weapon is effective at all engagement distances and is best used against a solitary target unless a micro-missile um, modification is present. Standard issue ammunition is a .50 caliber full metal jacket round. So yeah, it definitely puts the heavy in heavy assault. I did not know that acronym stood for that. We'll also take that. And a healing station. Okay, or rather, health station. The UAC health station follows the same standard design specifications as its predecessor, the health pack, but with improved nanobot dispersal and fi uh, faster cellular analysis. When the, sub when, yeah, when the patient's arm is inserted into the administration sleeve, uh, the health station initiates a microscopic atomic force scan on the subject and administers a nanobot package that targets cellular def de deficiencies. Chem clusters are then dosed to the patient, uh, which simulates rapid recovery. Some users experience lightheadedness when using the health station. This can be cured by reinserting the patient's arm into the machine and running it a second time. This step can be repeated as often as necessary. Um, I don't think that's going to help. Okay. The airlock is the exit, I believe. So we could look around a little bit longer for some of the stuff we've missed. Like there's two arch uh, there's two over All there. Of course. Uh, Wait, let's what? see. What did you okay. say? Everyone needs to go through me uh, medical checks. Let's see. Regular medical checks to ensure that their productivity doesn't fall. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation. Located in the vast Hellas Plain impact yep. basin. Core heat this level at maximum pressure. That can be good. Uh, shouldn't there be something here to... Hmm. Okay, why is this still sealed? Or is there just a... Nothing behind... Okay, there is something behind that. What is that supposed to be? Um... A door? Secret level or something? Because there are secret levels, and we found zero of the secrets so far. Uh, let's have a check... How do we easily get back there? Let's just go through this a second time. And apparently the fuel responds. Okay. Let's see. At least I think the airlock is the end of mission. I could be wrong with that. Uh, let's see. There was something in here. Yep. Okay, health and ammo. Oh, oh wait, is this the? Yeah, this is the security station. There we go. Local lockdown override written. So now we can just exit through here. It's still offline. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, now we can open up this. Hello. Anyone home? Oh, that's dead guard already. Grab you. And yeah, this thing deals out pretty <laughs> a lot of damage in a pretty quick time. But of course, we have limited ammo at the moment. Or, well, we will always have limited ammo. Let's see. Anything else hidden here? Because there is... There are two more elite guards. Actually, there's a whole lot more around behind that door. So yeah, it's not that we're not done here that easily. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. This is not where we. Okay, ooh, hello. Okay, this is a nice find because we get this thing early. <laughs> the plasma rifle. The plasma rifle became standard issue among military units with the advent of argent-powered electromagnetic accelerators. Based off the HDPGD uh, design of the early 21st century, this weapon uh, delivers a rapid salvo of plasmoids that inflict both impact and thermal damage to the target. Let's see. Hold Q to activate the weapon selection wheel. Yep. Easy enough. And this thing starts with 150 bullets. <laughs> or rather, plasma charges. Oop. Nice. Nice. I saw that. And now we're back here. Yep. Okay. So yeah, it does <laughs> it does uh, pay off to go looking around a bit more. Let's see. Can we hmm. How do we get to that area over there with that guard? Oh, wait, is that? Oh, that's in here. Hmm. Okay, then how do we get... Actually, there's a... Uh, something that leads that way. Okay, how do we... It can be a bit annoying to see how things connect. I will give it that. Let's see, we'll need to get back to... That... <coughs> that we got. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think we need to take the elevator again to get over there. And yeah, luckily enemies don't really respawn, I believe. So that is one thing useful whilst you're exploring, so you don't end up wasting ammo. Again, why does it keep deselecting? That hmm. is weird. I should look into also... that. Again, what the... I'm not touching any buttons. I, I literally had my hand away there for the moment. Let's see. I, I would hate to be the janitor how to clean this up. <laughs> Let's see. That would Wait. be a jump to death. No, not really death, but a long drop anyways. Hmm. Is there a game where you... Basically, uh, grow with a mop. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm not talking about zero clear. I'm talking about the game that actually came before it. Yeah, uh, Viscera cleanup duty. Might be the one here. I wouldn't be surprised if it has uh, <laughs> doom levels. Yeah, I mean, it should have. Free... It's... Okay, this is how we get in here. So, how do we get over there, then? Not that we Actually, need the armor. The armor. armor bit. I said, the, the only level I remember seeing beautiful play of it... Oh, I was see. ...was a massacre in North Pole at Santa's shop. Yep. And USA. back to the start. The world is counting on us. That was dumb. Yeah, you, you can get to that armor by just jumping around there a bit. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I, I want that. I want that upgrade. So, <laughs> going around again. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that that could be a fun game to just play multiplayer sometime, because you have just as much chance of just causing of making <clears throat> of making a bigger mess 
uh, than actually cleaning up. <laughs> okay. I mean, I recall that happened a lot to YouTubers. When uh, they co op played it. And yeah, to get to that, just jump around a bit. And you've got it. It's just armor, and we're already at topped off with that. So. <clears throat> We're just going to drop down in here. And there they are. Take your USB. Okay. How else that's not needed? And yeah, just seal that off. That's. Uh, for the safety of UAC's employee, a mandatory lockdown is in effect. Da -da -da. Okay, let's keep. Let's finally get moving on. Airlock. I wonder how many of these were cultists. I feel like the cultists snuck in and then took over from the inn. And I'm pretty sure the company became the cult. Up. Oh, check your teeth. That's probably going to be me tomorrow. Yeah, some feelings uh, uh, a certain person will be uh, uh, later. They did not expect it. There we go, splitting headache. And yeah, we're currently under the effect of a berserk power-up. Yep. So who does it worse? Us or Doctor Doom? <laughs> who makes it worse, Doctor? There you are. Wait, what was his actual name again, Dr. Doom? Uh, I forget. Do Doom is okay. his last name, I'm pretty sure. Uh, almost. Or Von Doom? I mean, Va Von or Van Doom? Get back here, you. Was it Victor Von Doom? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, wait, is it Von... Uh, wait, Von is German, right? No, Germanic, at least. Uh, that thing's hmm. almost empty. Yep. So okay, there's still more to kill. You. Come on. And that was okay. the last one. Okay, we found some new friends there. So let's what look around friends? a bit. Oh no, no, that song stuck in my head. I'll be there for you. Nope, all my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Blow up by a bloody hand grenade or something. I forgot the lyrics. Let's see. Okay, we need to get to that. I should probably give that song a full listen sometime. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The monsters possess security. Possessed security units exhibit the most complex, uh, the most complex uh, battle strategies of all possessed humans, including mobile uh, shield advances towards the enemy and firing while in defilade. Or I'm guessing in defensive position or something like that means. Possessed security will also drop their shields to adapt a more accurate firing stance at the cost of lowering their defense. And then we have, yeah, Berserk. Test subjects exposed to this sphere exhibit extreme rage and increased strength. It has been noted that subjects given the Berserk Sphere will vent their rage on any living creature they can find and will even self-harm if they have no outlet for their fury. In the extremely rare case that the subject survives exposure, they will be left in a perpetual state of delirium and should be exterminated. Yeah. Wait, delirium? What does delirium mean again? Uh, I forget the specifics. Yep. 
forgot to swap that. Uh, let's see. But yeah, just a cha an altered state of mind. Just out, basically out of their minds. And I actually go for that for some reason. That, that's basically what happens for people that have gone berserk. Let's see, is there anything hidden around here? Looks. I, I think I told this before Hello. that berserking can give you quite the adrenaline pump, make yeah, it stronger, more durable, and all it. that. Everything seems to go slower. But many people forget the side effects of going berserk. Yeah. Like depression, everything's hurt. Like you get ten, twenty. Like just an example, you get ten times stronger. Afterwards, you're ten times weaker, and everything hurts. I'm and you your access to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. Right. Okay, I was saying. So you also have other side effects like depression, and some may even try to end themselves yeah. due to the pain. So, yeah. Before you people see the circus, the superpower, think again. There's a cost to that price. Yeah, since you're over. You're basically overclocking your muscles. Uh, which Henry. don't overclock for a reason. Yeah. Like, you, you do reduce the side effect the more times you survive it. But that's the issue. If you survive it. Let's see. How do we get up there? Because I keep falling down lower. I think I got, I think I got turned around here when I originally played this game uh, as well. So where the hell do I need to go? We can't. Can we make this jump? Yes, we can make this jump. I thought there was railing here. <laughs> At a distance. It's up. I think I heard more spawning. Not fall down. Wait, that had the satellites? Yep, which we're not uh, climbing. Satellite? No. no I said like this. You made a dish out of the satellite? I'm pretty sure you should not eat it. Oh. Mr. Chan. Oh. Okay, I thought they couldn't be stunned again. Mm, yeah, we can just break down their shields. Or we just go around it. That sounded like a body ragdolling out of existence. <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> now you. Easy pickings. Go. Override the overrides. Override the lockdown. Friendly fire there, I think. Go. <laughs> anything else around here? There's a data thing back there. Actually, no. Uh, no 
Or is it over here? There. Let's see. Oh. Uh, a possessed security will keep an optimal distance from its target. If the target gets too close, the possessed security will attack with a ferocious shield bash, then re <coughs> retreats to a preferred engagement range. Uh, possessed security have only been observed during the DS-117 UAC shot, or using the DS-117 UAC shotgun and shield outfit, which suggests that their ranks are exclusively created from members of a special uh, forces military unit. <coughs> called the UAC Neo Phalanx. The Neo Phalanx is used exclusively as military defense for remote UAC colonies. Okay, then what are they doing here? Well, some of the coaches in your scope traveled over here. Let's just deal with all of you first. Luckily, we have we have a little bit of immunity. Okay, and of course, those shields refill. There we go. Would have preferred to glory kill them, but that'll do. Nothing here. Uh, wait, hold on. What's just that? Hmm? Let's see. Error 83. Contact system admin. I have no idea what that might be. I saw something Where on the, the map. Where it was supposed to be an Easter egg or something? And hello. But Heavy Assault Rifle Model Bronze Guy. <laughs> uh, let's see, can we actually see which we've already have? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got all of the challenges here. We've missed one secret and we still have one to go. Uh, okay, wait, but according to that, that means you missed a secret early on. Yep. Okay, to the Vega terminal. Let's see, lockdown authorization. Oh, hello. It will give you strength, help you on your journey, if you can withstand the power surge. <laughs> and there, here we go, an Argent Cell. With this, we can upgrade something, either our health, our armor, or ammo situation. And uh, yeah. Warning energy overload, reroute power to subsystem. Um, let's get some more ammo first. That is pure Argent energy you've just taken into your system. It seems to agree with you. Hm. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Vega, give him what he wants. 61,337 UAC members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through the Mars installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. Huh. But none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, 
neither of us will survive the meltdown. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. And yeah, that's there Samuel Hayden. Oh dear. Let's see. That's the end of the level, I think. But I see one more guy that way, so let's take a quick back. Let's see, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> over here. We were looking down this place earlier. Shut up, you. And we'll take this. Okay. And that is three tokens. So we can now get this. Okay. Full view. Exploration items appear on the uh, in the auto map automatically. Okay, that would be useful. Uh, is there anything else we could put this to at the moment? Let's see. Power surge when a power up wears off. A damaging blast is released. Dexterity. Okay. Ooh. Swap weapons faster. Grab ledges faster. Swap weapon mods faster. Uh, here we have just the... Okay, decrease weapon self-damage. Immune to explosive barrel damage. Hmm. Sounds like something you need. Let's put it in that, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. How many times are you accidentally on or hold your seven grenades at this point? A few times. Uh, let's see. That's still not the secret, though. So, yeah. let's... The, well, the first secret uh, should probably be further back. To the a beginning. lot further back. So, uh, the, the compass one... is supposed to pulse. Wait, wait, what? Uh, the compass is supposed to pulse when we get near now, because of this. Ooh. True. Oh, wait, did I? Uh, uh, what? Uh, purchased? Uh, okay, I, th I think I, <laughs> I accidentally purchased that one. It's oh yeah, I accidentally purchased that one instead of this one. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, Nothing around okay. here. No, there's an area over there that we haven't explored. Is that close by? That is reasonably close by. Let's go take a look. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that doesn't fully reveal all secrets. Uh, but yeah, we've well, now got fifty percent more ammo, I believe. Oh, actually. How would we get to... Okay, that would actually be a bit further back than I, I thought, so let's just move on. Yeah, like, maybe try, but... Yeah, we're not going to waste, like, 15 minutes trying to find something. Oh, if I did waste some time just backtracking. Okay, let's get out. Hmm. Okay. I do believe we get an extra freighter suit thing if we find all of the secrets. Let's see. The boundary. Uh, with the satellite back online, the full scale and origin of the attack is revealed. Olivia Pierce, the Lazarus Project's lead scientist turned cult leader, activated a hell wave and released hundreds of demons from their holding cells in the Lazarus laboratories. The devastation that followed was left uh, has left the facility on the brink of complete destruction. The foundry reactors are in critical meltdown. Samuel Hayden, a survivor and head of the Mars facility, has offered you his help if you need it. You don't. You just need ammo and a way to stop the meltdown before it tears the base, ap the base apart. Okay. Let's see. Got a decent amount of time still. Oh, we've got four weapon upgrade points. Uh, let's see. Let's upgrade the size of the explosion. And what do we have here? Actually, we, yeah, we can't upgrade anything because we have nothing unlocked on these. Uh, one point. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So if we are... 
After running more diagnostics on the active greater suit, it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. I have added a tracker to your helmet's display. Okay, combat rating. Participating in combat. The not allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. Uh, yeah, now we get raided on combat as well, so, well, we want to go <laughs> exterminate even more demons than we already did. Let's see. Boundary Team Manifest. Uh, congratulations, new advocate. Uh, if you are reading this message, then you have been promoted to the Foundry Resource Team. If you were volunteered for this servants, you are joining an elite band... <clears throat> Uh, elite band of tier 1 advocates whose uh, work and dedication keeps our mission running on all cylinders. As a member of Foundry Resources, you will have access to some of the most advanced equipment the UAC has to offer, including Gripton cargo handlers, Delta uh, 5 jump boots, and dinophasic, uh, phas uh, dyn dyn dynophasic elevators. New members might want to consider applying for an exclusive team tattoo upon joining as a sign of faith in our science. Team tattoos are a mark of your tireless work at the UAC and can be requested by signing up for any of the Lazarus Rave case studies. Please contact a Tier 3 Advanced Weaponry Technician to fill in your application for a Pentagram brand today. <laughs> yeah, really laying it on thick, huh? Yeah. It does seem like they were all cultists, but I... Large majority turned cultist after yeah. they arrived here. And Argent Energy. Early in the development of the Argent Accumulator, it was discovered that Argent Plasma compressed into Hayden Radius Spheres, named after Samuel Hayden, uh, would retain its structure when charged with enough radioactive uh, isotopes. Once formed, if the surface tension of the plasma sphere is broken, the energy cast contained within will quickly discharge, energizing anything it comes into contact with. Argent caches were the forerunner of the Argent Accumulator, but their vulnerability to blunt force makes them uh, makes their use too unpredictable. There are still hundreds of these prototype uh, Argent caches to be found across the Argent facility and have become somewhat of a collector's item among UAC um, employees. Should you find an Argent cache, please report your finding to your departmental enforcer. And yeah, combat rating. Uh, find and kill as many demons as possible. Okay, just a kill amount. Yep. Okay, that means the. Uh, I thought those things were put inside glass balls, but no. Okay, let's take this the micro missiles, since we're going to get busy here. Where are they? I think I actually moved away from them. That sounded like there was an absolute horde with us in the room there. <laughs> Did not attempt I to fall down. I think there might be uh, in the other direction. Oh, well. How did... Oh, were you all behind this door that I didn't open? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go take a look. Going that way. Wait, this is a damn helmet bike there a bit? I think that was more from something shaking the place up. Okay. Well, it's probably very much seen there was a secret nearby. Yep. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, for some reason my headset just disconnected, or rather it didn't disconnect, just the Bluetooth crapped out for something. Uh, and that typically goes along with just massive static on the mic, so I just 
quickly pulled out the cable. So I hope that wasn't... The, I, if there was that to be... I hope I cut it off there, or... It didn't happen this time. Okay, then I was quick enough. Yes. Okay. Oh, new friend. Bob? And yeah, we need uh, we need someone for this. Because very obviously... Yeah. Uh, we need a hand of a frog man. Or woman. Okay. Frog man or frog woman. Okay. Heavy assault rifle. The micro-missiles. A multi-chambered cylinder located under the primary barrel can be loaded with up to six HMX missiles. These small but deadly rockets were designed to deliver multiple payloads to a single target, but can also be used to subdue multiple targets within a tight kill zone. The missiles were, will detonate shortly after making contact with any surface. Okay, so we can test this thing out on a big guy. Let's see, can we break, can we make that? No, we cannot make that. Okay. Did you land somewhere safe? Yep. Somewhere useful. Yeah. Okay. Let's see then. Just the way, just the way back up, out. Anything down this way further first? Okay, doesn't look like little, little gap. Okay, there is something hidden over that way though. Hmm. But that's on the other side of the grate that we found earlier. Or likely behind it. For now. Let's just get out of here. Hopefully without adding our suits to the alloying here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So where to? There to? Okay, there we go. That... That'll work. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's only cute in a way. And I get and I read oddly cute. I just raises it up and just shoot tiny missiles. Yep. Gas leak stopped. Okay, that's one problem solved. Okay. Let's see, anything around here? No, that's where we came from. There is some armor hidden around here, but we're full. Yeah, of course. Let's see, anyone around here? Nope. Uh, but they're going to be coming running when we oh, hit the, <laughs> the doorbell. Welcome to Mars! There we go. We've got your arrival ass kicking ready. <laughs> oh, new one. Hellraiser. Not like the movie. Wrong button. I've only seen one of the movies, and I don't see the first one. There we go. Let's fill up. I am sure which one I seen. And who know it's not the first one. Let's see. 
full on shotgun ammo, so we can use that for a bit. Okay, there's the next core nest. Anything around here? There's the blue, a few blue door, the blue locked doors. Where is that? Where are we? Hmm. Let's see. No other way to go here. Hmm. Okay, we're over here, then through there. Okay. Bye-bye. We'll check on those in a bit. Access denied. Blue. We need the blue cards. So we can go this way or we can head down. Let's head this way first. Warning. Core temperature rising. one of them. I thought we wanted to do with that. Oops. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> uh, only in the boss. Uh, the hot boss. Rich in minerals. Oh, up, yellow key card. Okay. <laughs> I just looked away as something blew up. Uh, let's see, what are the combat challenges, actually? Okay, three possessed with one explosive barrel. Perform three death from above glory kills on possessed soldiers. Attack from above with glory kills and find two collectibles. Okay. Should be easy enough. If I, if I keep in mind to try and get possessed with explosive barrels. Yeah, and let's go. Oh, hello, big boy. Oh, double spin there, left. Hello. Near you. Another one? What a hot. Uh, power of minerals. Oops. Gotcha. And yeah, that's a hell knight. Okay, any more? Sounds like more. Oh, there. There we go. Okay, we got a weapon upgrade point from the amount of kills. Now, let's go take a look. Okay. First, Hellraiser. Yep. There. Can be so finicky sometimes. Okay. The Hellraiser is an astute and tactical foe that will engage enemies from a distance with a powerful beam of unrefined hell energy. The beam emanates from an arm-like protrusion composed of cartilage and other... Osseous uh, tissue. Articulation of the cartilage allows the Hell Knight Razor to focus its energy beam into a single charged shot that will obliterate anything that stands in its path. So, yeah, careful with these things. And of course, the Hell Knight. The Hell Knight is a towering brute bred for combat deep in the bowels of Hell. These diabolical beasts are the prized gladiators of the Demon Horde. They relentlessly stomp towards their target, smashing their massive fists into the ground to create shockwaves that stagger their opponent and leave them vulnerable to bone-crushing melee attacks. The Hell Knight's powerful legs allow it to leap across large distances effortlessly, quickly closing the gap to quickly closing the gap to its enemy. Oh dear. How did they get? Must have been a chain reaction of sorts. Possibly. Or if they accidentally hit each other. Could be. Give me those. Oh. 
it, okay, I'll take that. That was an accidental uh, win. Is that a clip moment? Uh, I'm a bit too busy to press the button myself. Ooh. Near you. Well, I will do this for you at least. Okay, a bit low on these as well. <laughs> okay, let's go with this one since we've got full ammo. Okay. I am going to highlight that one though. These things actually take more damage than the actual imps. Ooh. Let's crack your back for a bit. Oh. 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 <laughs> knock, knock. Holy. Okay, that was the second one done. Demonic threat reduced by 50%. The fact that they have a counter or a percentile for demonic <laughs> infestation. Uh. Yeah, that's kind of concerning. There. Let's see, we need to try and get three of them with an explosive barrel. Okay, why is my... Okay, so my keys have been sticking at times. Yep. Come on! Why w Nothing else... Nothing was responding there. What the heck? Uh, it, it was stuck just walking sideways. Just, what the hell? Uh, and now it won't even... Come on. What? Did my, did my keyboard just crap out? Actually, it looks like it... No, it, it's moving again. Uh, okay, this is going to be a problem. Because if I can't alt tap out, I can't check other things. So, uh, huh. Okay. Um, yeah. And they have us two minutes away from ending stream. Come on. There's nothing going to respond. What the hell? Okay, I just... I might have to restart my computer to fix this. Come on. There's no... Not a single button is responding. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, if I can't... We can't even do a raid now, I think. Actually, maybe... if Maybe I can make one through Twitch on my phone... Uh, let's see, mute that. Uh, yeah, let's just head on over here. Look, wait, this... Okay, Stream Deck still responds. Okay, but nothing else still. What the hell so, all of a sudden? Is the, so the problem might be just the keyboard itself. Or the keyboard program. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll have... I won't be able to... I won't be able to screen share anyone to, well, check for raids. So instead, I'll just uh, pick one myself. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tatum is streaming a, a Minecraft uh, pack that they helped make. So we can go raid them, I say. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay, my channel... Then uh, no, 
teleport the other way. Okay, chat. Um, okay. Uh, da -da -da, slash raids. And there's the stream timer. Go uh, I hope I have the spelling correct. Let me double check. Uh, potatum. Yep. Okay. Now hope that it's preserved the command there. It did not, of course. Because being useful is a is not what Twitch uh, chat is about. Okay. Slash potatum. Uh, that should be correct. Okay. Uh, yeah. Unexpected point to end. Just, I have no freaking idea. Like I, th actually, I think this has happened once before, and I don't know how I managed to fix it. So yeah, I'll have to do with a restart. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, except for that, uh, very much enjoying this more than uh. Yes, I'm still trying the buttons to see if anything at all responds. Uh, yes, enjoying this a lot more than Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. And what are your thoughts so far? I love it. <laughs> do, okay. I do have an idea for maybe future? Maybe use a controller? Mm, I, I'm not good with controllers and shooters, or in controllers in shooters. But, yeah, I... Hmm. Yeah, I... I might have to plug in a secondary keyboard or something if this happens again. Like I'm, yeah, it, the uh, the program for this keyboard, it, it's a Corsair, so it runs off IQ. It did get an update today, so it might have just fucked something up. Uh, but still, why it waited until now to fuck up? Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay. But uh, yeah. Maybe is that's why you've been. Moving outside the the screen a few a few times, maybe. It it happened a lot more frequent today, so it might have something to do with that. Uh, yeah, I'll have to go look for. <clears throat> I'll have to go look for a keyboard with an old-fashioned connection that would also let me screw around in the BIOS some, since well, this this keyboard doesn't respond until the USBs get activated, which is after the the BIOS window opening moment is. <clears throat> but uh, yeah for now though uh yeah enjoying this a lot and yeah we tomorrow i'll have to suffer a visit to the dentist probably get bad news probably get to hear that i need another filling oh uh, well and uh yeah then saturday new or we be saturday we will be continuing with the return of the Oberdin. And should we put Prince of Persia on the other time slots or just keep that to Sunday evening for now and find uh, something else keep, to play as well? Let's keep Prince of Persia to the Sunday evening. For I feel like we deserve two fun games on a damn Saturday. Okay. Uh, then we'll have to decide what else to play tomorrow then. <clears throat> yeah, didn't we already do that? Uh... Actually, I, uh, Katana Zero? Oh, yeah, Katana Zero, yes. Okay, then we'll see which we'll do first, but we'll do both on Saturday. And Sunday, we have Showcase Sunday and Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands. And uh, yeah, more Doom next week. <laughs> but yeah, for now, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy and Ram, for chatting along and visiting. And thank you, as always, Rick here. You welcome us always, my friend. And with that, let's see if this will work as a raid. Yep, raid has been started. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, uh, we've already outlined what we'll be doing for the you know, next bit. I'll try to catch up with the YouTube uploads, probably after the dentist, which is going to be early in the morning. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for imps.
and possessed and hell knights and everything else. And derpfish. <laughs> <laughs>